वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर पी पी अजय कुमार प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश स्कूल ऑफ डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ केरला टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द प्ले लुक बैक इन एंगर बाय जॉन ऑसबॉर्न एंड दिस प्ले इज इंक्लूडेड इन द पेपर ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी इंग्लिश लिटरेचर जॉन ऑसबॉर्न वॉज बॉर्न इन द इयर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइन ही वॉज कंसिडर टू a dramatist who has involved himself in all activities associated with theater he was an actor screenplay writer theater manager playwright everything and more than that he was associated with the british left wing John Osborne had a working class background and he left school early and joined a touring theater company he went on to work for several years in the company and he wrote his first play in 1950 the play look back in anger is the third play written by john osborn look back in anger was a play which was received with mixed feelings it was crit- criticized by many many attacked him saying that it is not at all promising but the play became popular later mainly because it gave theatrical voice to the frustrations and disillusionment of the young generation of britain during the 1950s the 1950s was a crucial period in the history of the british people because after the second world war britain lost its supremacy and the people were slowly coming to terms with the reality even though they were victorious in the war against hitler britain had to pay dearly for it after the war britain was faced with the reality of devastated towns and cities loss of a large section of the population especially young people and tremendous loss of resources so this led to the loss of world supremacy for britain the cold war was another reality that the world has faced after the war you the two sides with ussr on the one side and usa on the other has divided the world into two there was even the threat of a nuclear war and here again britain was losing its ground within the british society new trends were emerging at that time in the midst of new affluence the middle classes as well as people belonging to the lower sections of the society in britain were frustrated there was a kind of spiritual emptiness in the society and we find that there had been incursions into the power structure since early victorian times with the ruling classes resisting every inch of the way so it was a period of social confusion and a sense of loss another term that is often used in association with the writer john osborne is the term angry young man the angry young men refers to a new generation of writers who attacked the social political institutions through their writings 
these young writers who gave voice to the new generation of people became angry young men actually they were sharing the mood of the generation and so naturally they were very well accepted by the youth the term angry young men was actually a journalistic coinage which became popular john osborne and his plays were considered to be part of this kind of an angry response to the society we find that his plays criticizes the political and social institution the angry young men of britain were actually a group of young writers who emerged in the post war period especially in the 1950s the group included harold pinter john brain alan silito kingsley amis philip larkin and john wayne william cooper the early model angry young man though cambridge educated was a provincial writer their political views were seen as radical sometimes even anarchic and they described social alienation of different kinds it is true that look back in anger was a strongly autobiographical play it was based on osborne's unhappy marriage to pamela lane and their life in cramped accommodation in derby while osborne aspired towards a career in theater his wife lane was of a more practical and materialistic person she did not take osborne's ambition seriously while cheating him with a local dentist it also contains much of osborne's earlier life what is best remembered is jimmy's tirades against the mediocrity of middle class english life personified by his hated mother nelly beatrice the setting of the play is a one room flat in a working class provincial british town the furniture in that room is very simple and rather old a double bed a dressing table and a book the atmosphere is crammed with three people sharing the space available within the room so the play deals with the life of very ordinary people being a realistic play look back in anger has a plain prose osborne and his followers came to be known as the kitchen sink dramatists the style of domestic realism came to be known thus because they set their plays in lower middle class homes and portrayed the struggles of the marginalized society they were trying to convey the life of ordinary people in the language of everyday speech and the audience also received it very well the important characters in this play are Jimmy Porter who is the protagonist of the play he was a educated young man living in a poor neighborhood running a sweet store then Alison Redfern is his wife and uh, she actually mocks him and the relationship is somewhat strange Cliff Lewis is another character Cliff is their friend who shares the same flat 
with them. Helena Charles is Alison's friend. She was an actress who comes to stay with them for some time. Colonel Redfern retired from service in India. Look Back in Anger is a play in three acts. The play happens in a one bedroom flat in the Midlands. Jimmy Potter, a lower middle class, university educated young man, lives with his wife Alison. Alison is the daughter of a retired colonel in the British Army in India. His friend Cliff Lewis, who helps Jimmy run a sweet store. Jimmy, intellectually restless and thwarted, reads the papers, argues and taunts his friends over their acceptance of the world around them. The situation becomes worsened with the arrival of Helena, an actress and a friend of Alison. Alison confesses to Helena that she is pregnant. Helena calls Alison's father to take her away from the flat. He arrives while Jimmy is visiting the mother of a friend and takes Alison away. As soon as she has gone, Helena moves in with Jimmy. Alison lost Jimmy's baby. Uh, Helena become very remorse and she find it difficult to live with Jimmy and she leaves. Finally, Alison returns and joins Jimmy and his angry life. So the play presents the theme of anger. The title also refers to the anger. Look back in anger. So the expression angry young man came to be used and it became very popular among critics and journalists after the success of the play Look Back in Anger. The play evoked a sympathetic response in the British public, especially the youth of the time whose anger at the status quo were rightly reflected in Jimmy Potter's speeches. Jimmy in this play was trying to show his anger towards the society because he finds that all ideals which gave a lot of promise have failed. He refers to the lost idealism, the lost cause. Jimmy Potter spoke for a large segment of the British population in 1956. When he ranted about his alienation from a society in which he was denied any meaningful role. So we can say that Jimmy Potter is a representative of the youth of that time who were disillusioned who have lost hope in all kinds of promises and ideologies. It was true that in Britain at that time all kinds of privileges were reserved for children belonging to the upper strata of the society. Those who were born in families belonging to the lower sections of the society they were denied their rights. In the play, the alienation experienced by Jimmy was caused by various factors and one was his background as a lower middle class young man. His alienation from Ellison comes precisely because he cannot break through her cool her unwillingness 
to feel deeply even while making love with her husband another important theme that is connected with this play is the loss of idealism look back in anger is about the loss of ideals that make life meaningful jimmy potter is representative of people whose frustration and anger results from this loss of ideals his own father who was close to him in his tender age was a leftist who went to fight for a cause in spain he returned wounded and discarded by all even jimmy so we find in the play a clear representation of the generation and the kind of blankness that result out of the failure of ideologies it is also true that britain lost its supremacy after the second world war war has destroyed even self respect for the british citizen they lost patriotism and they found that the nation had nothing to offer for them in the political front immediately after the war britain went in for a change they elected a labor government but the promises raised by the new government were soon laid to rest when they were thrown out in the next election even though the government tried to introduce several welfare measures the sufferings of the working class continued so the young generation including jimmy potter were disillusioned and they get angry with the whole establishment the play also deals with the married life of jimmy and alison in fact that is one of the central themes in the play jimmy has been married to alison for 4 years when the play opens but they have not been able to find a comfortable living despite jimmy's education it is an important fact that there was some kind of class difference between them while jimmy belongs to a lower middle class family alison comes from an upper class family alison loved jimmy for a variety of reasons and got married to him against the wishes of her parents now she has settled down into a routine of a boring life in a bed sit in the midlands she was very unhappy about that she does the household jobs and is constantly subject to the ranting of the husband her only comfort was cliff their friend who stays with them on the other side jimmy really loved alison but he was not very happy with his in-laws the early days of their marriage are characterized by the bears and squirrels game this game that they play between them suggests the animal warmth and escapism that they enjoyed in the early days jimmy does not show any love for alison now he even speaks brutally to her saying that he would like to see her suffer and grovel in front of him one day so jimmy's disregard for sexual morality is one reason for his failure 
he treats traditional morality with contempt it is a contempt that is also part of his anger his anger at the church and spiritual things represented by religion the problem began to come out with the emergence of Alison's friend Helena Helena comes to the house and when she was with them Alison reveals to her friend that she is pregnant Helena is horrified by the manner in which Jimmy is treating Alison so she informs Alison's father who comes to take his daughter away so the turning point comes when Alison leaves and unexpectedly Helena becomes Jimmy's mistress we realize that the marriage is ended however this state of affairs lasts for only a few months Alison returns after the loss of her child her speech to Helena reveals how she misses Jimmy in spite of everything at the time Helena feels guilty about stealing uh, Alison's bed now the two women who lives with Jimmy realize that Jimmy is not an easy person to please Alison makes a comment about that she says what he wants in a woman is a combination of the mother and the courtesan a cleopatra and a boswell and in the end they are reunited now we can discuss the style of the play we can understand very easily that the play is a realistic play realism which was prominent in the 18th and 19th centuries is a mode of expression which tries to present social realities as faithfully as it can in drama realism refers to the kind of drama that became popular with Hendrik Ibsen George Bernard Shaw and Anton Chekhov they wrote about contemporary problems and depicted ordinary people's lives the setting in a realist drama is believed to be true to the contemporary reality and the themes were the prime concerns of ordinary people who lived at that time there may not be any black and white villains and heroes the classical division of a play into tragedy and comedy did not apply to such plays there may be happy endings or unhappy endings and the kind of language used is most often ordinary colloquial language naturalism is an extreme form of realism which represented the ugly and unpleasant aspects of human existence it also offered a critical view of the society naturalism is considered to be more scientific than realism but at the same time it is a fact that naturalism proved to be less acceptable because it was more mechanical than realism it saw man as a victim of his environment 
Osborne's play contains elements of realism and naturalism. It is a play that is formally realistic. The characters are identifiable as ordinary working class youth of the 1950s. Their life is characterized by boredom, ugliness and disillusionment. Another term that is used in connection with this play is kitchen sink realism. The term kitchen sink realism refers to the type of play that deals with the domestic life of the middle class and the lower middle class. Osborne's look back in anger in that sense can be treated as an example for kitchen sink realism. So far we have been discussing the play Look Back in Anger by John Osborne. We have discussed the theme, characters and the important terms associated with the play. I hope you have understood the basic details about the play. You will be able to get more details from the material that is uploaded in the site and try to go through the section for further reading to identify the text that give a better understanding of the play. Thank you.